Here it was early in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, just clipping a couple of balls. And I wanted to show you the importance of path and face and their relationship to each other. And what happens when you don't quite align them correctly at impact and how this affects the direction the ball launches when it comes off the club face. So here we have a shot where I hit the ball with a relatively neutral path, 0 0.3 degrees to the left. So, you know, to the naked eye, that will be, that will be a, a, let's call that for argument's sake, a straight path. Now, my club face in relation to that was 1.6 degrees closed. Now, you're never going to be able to see this. This is where launch monitors come in. Not even a pro to, you know, watching you without a slow motion camera could spot this. He'd be able to get it from the ball flight, no problem but nobody could give you these values unless you use something scientifically proven, TrackMan GC2, for example, that will give you this factual data. Now, here, as I said, uh, 0 0.3 path, 1.6 degrees close to the path, and because the face was excessively close to the path, you can see here that the ball has launched 1.6 degrees to the left of target. Now this was me just feeling a, a relatively neutral swing, but you can see uh, with a six or seven iron, that's, that's finished 12 foot left. Now, of course, it was a fairly good strike, 1.38 smash, it was, it was pretty solid. Um, but as soon as we start to get something a little longer in our hands, that 12 degrees can start to go, uh, sorry, that 12 foot left can start to go 20 foot left. 30 foot left etc and we're assuming a centered strike that you can see here this was pretty centered you start hitting the heel and the toe these kind of values will see bigger misses and you haven't actually done that much wrong so the purpose of this is to get you to understand what shifting your face and your path can do to your ability to hit the target and there is no right or wrong i'll just play this video through for you this is my normal swing my, my neutral swing let's say and it and it would you know 12 foot left to target it, it's hit target as far as i'm concerned now as soon as we then start to mess around with that delivery so the next swing i, th I thought right i'm gonna i'll give you a neutral one here um and this is quite rare and quite difficult to achieve zero path zero face to path i got my face absolutely bang on at impact good solid hit so you can see there, I didn't, I didn't um, tow it or heel it. That was that was pretty much out the middle, uh, and you can see the ball has started absolutely bang on straight. It's hardly curved at all, if at all, and it's finished three inches offline. So I felt like I had to work quite hard to do this. So this would be quite a stressful way to play golf. The reason being is there's no room for error. If I had that face one degrees open, two degrees open, um, effectively I could be 20 yards offline. Uh, as soon as I get a driver in my hand. So this is actually quite a stressful way to play golf and so many of my lessons say, I just wanna hit it dead straight. Well, that is actually a very, very tough way to play golf with very little room for error. As I showed you, I was a little bit out on the previous swing and you know that was a, that was a fairly neutral swing and I've still finished 12 foot offline. This one here, I've got everything bang on. I've finished three inches off, but there, if I'd had my face one or two degrees open, um, that could have been disastrous. So what I started doing, I'll just move up through these shots, is I start, and I just want you to have a look at path and face. I started shifting them around, so I started moving a little bit more towards drawer's swing. Again, this was fairly neutral. Face was one degree shut, finished seven foot offline. Face was 2.6 degrees shut, finished 22 foot offline. But again, look at the path, pretty neutral. Into out path now, so I've, I've gone more to a drawer's swing, and I've managed to get my face one degree shut now and I've now hit target again. Now, if you go back to the start, where I was one degree shut and I was 12 foot to the left, with this one, I was, I was, sorry, let's go to this one. I was one degree shut and I've managed to hit target. So I've had a very similar face, but because I've shifted my path, I've managed to hit target. Now you wouldn't, as I said, it, there, there is no right or wrong and there is no um, perfect, it is whatever makes you able to hit the target. Now, as I come through these shots, I'll show you where I'm most confident and most happy. I actually quite like shifting my path a little bit to the left. It allows me to feel the face opening a little bit and I can then start to consistently hit target. So here I've gone 3.2 degrees left, squared the face to that and I've tugged it a little bit. 
Next one, 1 1.8 degrees left. I've opened the face a touch and I've managed to start hitting target. Five foot offline here. 1.9 degrees left with a one degree open face. Again, I've hit target six foot away. And this is my favorite feel. I've managed to move my path even more left, only by three degrees. My face was one and a half degrees open and I'm, I'm happier swinging it like this. Now, that was a good solid hit. I'm quite comfortable with this feel, yet it's my way of hitting target under pressure is feeling a little fade move. Now that for me works, that might not work for you, but my point being is when you get into your coaching and you start to understand and with the help of launch monitors, cameras and, and an opinion of a pro, you start to build a feel and a set of swing thoughts that work to allow you to hit target. Now that doesn't need to be bang on square path. It can be an out to in path. It can be an in to out path. But as long as you're able to manage your path and your face, you will start to hit target more consistently and reduce your curvature. And what we can do with launch monitors is start to show you things like this. Start to show you the journey of the club through impact, a little bit from out to in. You can start to see here, now, moving this around, you can start to see from a bird's eye view, from a player's view, what the path was doing, what the face was doing, how impact was looking. And all these little things help to give you the confidence to go out under pressure and make a swing that you know will hit target. Rather than trying to be perfect, these numbers most definitely aren't perfect. The strike's solid, that's a very good strike. Um, but that's not a zero path and a zero face that they're they're away from zero however i've been able to hit target so the point being is if you can use a launch monitor i like to use trackman or gc2 if you can use a launch monitor to help you improve your understanding of impact you will then under pressure be able to resort to a set of feels to manage your path to manage your face and get you hitting target when you need to really hope you've enjoyed this if you ever want to ask me any questions, just feel free to email me at gareth at garethjohnstongolf.com and here's to a great rest of the season.